welcome back to the channel. Today is the video that everyone has been waiting for. And um, so basically, I've got some goldfish babies. These guys are, they're about two months old um, and they are hanging out in my 40 gallon breeder currently. Um, just a little bit about them. Originally, my plans were um, to breed my own fish. Um, however, um, I really wanted to breed Malachi with Z or Knight. So Malachi is the fish that's been really sick. Um, she was in quarantine four and a half weeks. She went through a ton of antibiotics um, and she's doing better. She's back in her aquarium, but um, I don't think that she's going to be able to have babies um, just because she can't handle a lot of stress. So I don't think it would be wise of me to um, breed her right now. Um, she's just not 100% and it's I don't think that would be a really good idea. I could breed my Ronchu. They were in breeding mode last week and then as soon as I put the spawning mop in to catch the eggs, they were like, nah, I'm not in the mood now. So there that went. I could breed my butterfly telescopes, but I only have three females and so I would have to get a male. So, you know, I was thinking about that, potentially getting a male. And I happened to go to my local fish store um, and it is family owned. Um, I've got some of my fish from them before. I happened to go there and I was talking to the owner. He's a really nice guy. I was talking to him and he was telling me that he had a client that was really interested in baby lion heads. And so he put an order in and the shipment came in last week and <laughs> it wasn't exactly what he expected. Uh, that being that it was not lion heads. Um, there was like two or three baby lion heads in the entire shipment and the rest of them were baby uh, golf ball pearl scales, randas, ryukins, um, black moors. I mean, there was a ton of different babies and that's not what he wanted. This particular store doesn't usually carry baby goldfish just because they're not super popular around here. Aquariums in general aren't super popular in my area. Uh, if people do have an aquarium, it's usually a freshwater community or like a beta fish, tetras, something like that. So he doesn't keep a lot of goldfish on hand. So he was talking to me about, about them and you know, I had an idea of, you know, I really wanted to raise fry, but mine, my fish just were not in the mood to do so. And so I went back there and looked at them and they were, you know, he told me they were approximately two months old and that's what they look like. They're very, very small. Um, most of them are just met barely an inch in length. So they are tiny, tiny. Um, but I couldn't say no because they were so cute and I'm like, man, these guys are going to look really nice when I grow them out. So I ended up with two golf ball pearl scales, which is funny because I've never really been interested in those before. Um, I think they're one of the only goldfish I've never kept except for lion heads. So they were just cute, so I took them in, and I have a um, telescope, two Arandas, and one that's either an Aranda or a Ryukin. It's still too young to really tell which she is. Um, I really don't know if they're males or females. Um, they're too young to really tell right now, so we'll just have to wait and see about that. I have a nice clip of them at the end of the video. Uh, but for now, I just want to talk about how I'm treating them and things. I've had them about 48 hours. They are in my 40 gallon breeder right now. Um, the original idea was to put them in the pond, um, but they're still too small and they're going through their quarantine phase. I'm treating them with Prozzi just to treat for flukes because that is so common with these goldfish. So they're going through that. I'm watching them very, very closely um, and they're doing really well. I didn't want to put them in the pond yet because they're so little. Um, I would have to take the uh, the depth down quite a bit and I don't really want to do that. And plus, Knight and Comet are still in there and they're still doing good and I just thought that I would leave them until these guys get a little bit bigger. And then I'll switch them and Comet and Knight will go back into their usual home. But for right now, they're staying in the 40 gallon breeder. 
I do have an AquaClear 70 on it. I'm running it on low, not high, because they are little and they can't handle um, the strength of the filter yet. So it's on low. They have a 12 inch air stone and very, very few decorations. But they're loving it. They are so interactive. The 40 gallon breeder is like right beside of this, right beside of my desk. And they can hear me talking and so they're all coming up to the side looking at me. But they're super cute and you'll see them in a little bit. Um, as far as what they're eating, um, I did, they are small and you'll see that when I show you, but I'm feeding them um, aquarium co-op small fish and fry food. And this is actually my, my first um, purchase with aquarium co-op and I was very pleased. Um, so that they're getting this and it's really really nice um i've heard of a lot of people having really good results with this and i they, they love it anytime it gets in the water they're shooting around there as fast as they can to gobble it up they love it and it has a crude protein level of 55 percent with fry you always want to make sure that you're feeding kind of a high protein just because they're growing and they're little and they're going to grow fast so um, they get that once a day and they also get this. I thought about doing a baby brine shrimp hatchery, but you know, right now it's kind of hard for me to maintain that. So I actually was on Aquarium Co-op and I saw this and it's not actually the, um, the jar isn't actually in this right now because it's actually in the fridge, but this is what it came in. It's the Ocean Nutrition Instant Baby Brine Shrimp. And they love it. Um, it's great. Like, it's exactly what I needed. I think it's maybe one of their favorite things. Um, but it wasn't expensive or anything. And it was perfect. So, it can be kept at room temperature before it's open. But after you open it, it has to go in the fridge. So, um, they love that. They get that once a day as well. And in the evening, I feed them the rapashi that all the rest of my fish get. And how I do that is I make sure that the rapashi is kind of chopped up with a fork and then I take the fork and I mash it down and it becomes really, really thin and uh, in smaller chunks and they love it. They will munch on that for at least 30 minutes and they love it. So they actually get fed three times a day. Uh, my normal, my other fish get fed twice a day. So I feed them one, one more extra time. Um, just because they're growing and they, they need that extra protein. So, um, they are just so cute, y'all. Like, I can't wait till you see them. I'm also super careful with my water quality. Um, so far they've done really good. I mean, they're small, so they're not producing a lot of waste. Um, but they're doing very well. And, um, the plan is right now, um, to raise them until... June, July, August, somewhere around there, and then I will put them up for sale. So that's the idea right now. Um, my mother has claimed the telescope that's in here. She, I don't know, she just fell in love with its tail and she just decided that, she told me the other day that um, as soon as she saw it that I better not promise that to anybody because she wants it. So um, that one may not be for sale, but you know, we'll see. if if it grows up to be a nice fish then she may decide to let someone else have it but I don't know she's pretty attached to it right now so I'm really excited to grow them out and see what they'll grow up to be it's really hard for me to see these little tiny arandas and remember that uh, Z and Knight used to be that little and now you know Knight's over two pounds and bigger than my hand and um you know, Z is right right behind him. He's a little over a pound himself. So it's gonna be interesting to, to see these guys grow and I'm sure that they're gonna be gorgeous fish. And um, if you have a favorite, tell me below because I'm curious as to what you guys think of them as well. Um, I think they'll be cute. I haven't named any of them yet. Um, I don't want to name them. I've been debating on that kind of if I was going to or not just because when you go to naming fish, you kind of end up getting attached to them. So, and I don't want to get super attached to them because, you know, the end game is to sell them to other goldfish enthusiasts. 
So, um, we'll see. I'm going to try not to, but I may end up naming them anyway. Who knows? So, um, without further ado, here are the new Shine Goldfish Fry. So that was all of them. I hope you enjoyed them. Again, tell me what you think below. And if you have a favorite, I'm curious to see who that is. And um, so that's really all I have for today. And I'll see y'all next time.